Hi right, guys. Look at those beautiful fall leaves here on this dreary, fucking yuck, nasty, depressing, gray day where it is, uh, where are we? Tuesday, October 4th. It is 50 degrees. 50 degrees at 1 o'clock in the fucking afternoon. When I went to bed last night at midnight, at midnight, fucking weather uh, report was calling for a 12% chance of scattered afternoon showers. 12% chance of scattered afternoon showers with a high of 64 degrees. And fucking seven o'clock this morning, I hear fucking rain drumming on the fucking roof of the tiny house. Uh, Jesus, these motherfuckers. You know, no wonder these goddamn climate change deniers laughing about and trying to talk about what the weather's going to be like 50 fucking years from now when these stupid motherfuckers, that, that they can't... Uh, they can't give you a fucking weather forecast seven hours ahead of time. Seven fucking hours ahead of time. So anyway, sitting here on this dreary fucking day. And uh, so here's where I am headed to. This is my uh, annual broken record. Uh, paying my school taxes rant. So I see my... Th this is not my quote, county property taxes, my school taxes, you know, to, to educate the uh, future little corporate slaves and uh, Walmart greeters coming out of our goddamn uh, public school education system here in Candor, New York. Twelve hundred more fucking dollars. I have never had a goddamn kid spend one minute in a fucking public school because I never had a fucking kid. Twelve hundred fucking dollars to uh, educate, educate, and I put quotes around that fucking word. Oh, Jesus. You know, that'll be the day when goddamn childless people uh, get a break from uh, paying school taxes. Biggest bunch of fucking bullshit. I know that I have spent $100,000. Easy. I know I've spent a hundred thousand dollars over my lifetime uh, on these motherfucking school taxes. I don't even know where my property tax bill is, which is uh, is two different bills of where I live. Uh, anyway, so I'm dealing with that, and then of course, you know, I'm still in the middle of dealing with this uh, shit with the. Uh, with a DMV uh, over this goddamn, uh, over this fucking, uh, whatever, salvage title from Texas trying to get a, you know, a goddamn appointment to make sure that this truck, which was wrecked over, what was it, three and a half years ago, was rear-ended, is not a danger to uh, my fellow New Yorkers. And uh, dealing with that shit, so today is the last day that my, quote, invalid registration appears to be valid. So uh, tomorrow, I guess I am, uh, I'm still the same outlaw that I've been ever since I moved to New York, but now the cops would have reason, you know, to bust me on this because uh, it says quite clearly that, you know, October 4th uh, is when my registration that, that I never had uh, runs out. So I'm dealing with that fucking bullshit. I was on the goddamn phone for over 30 minutes on hold with these motherfuckers. Uh, at the DMV in Albany, you know, trying to set up this goddamn appointment 
for them to look at this uh, fucking truck and the guy would not promise me that I was going to have this appointment any time in the month of November. He would not let me corner him uh, into telling me that uh, they would schedule this fucking uh, five minute inspection uh, in the in the next six fucking weeks. So I am literally imprisoned here in the state of New York uh, and, until I get this goddamn inspection. So in the middle of this, when I was down there at the DMV, you know what, this very nice woman uh, at the DMV, you know, one of the many old white women who work there, who fully admits that this is unadulterated fucking horseshit, what the DMV is putting me there. Unadulterated horseshit. She clearly admits it, but then, you know, she also told me uh, that what's coming up is this fucking New World Order mark of the beast called the Real ID is kicking in. I guess your deadline is May that you need to get this fucking New World Order uh, Mark of the Beast tracking device, uh, which is, I, I guess, a little seal they put on your fucking driver's license. I was suffering some ridiculous delusion that uh, Andrew Cuomo had opted out that the state had could override the I don't know where I was thinking this uh, no such luck I guess this is everybody in the US uh, has until May uh, to uh, get the mark of the beast uh, if you don't get it you can you cannot even get on a domestic uh, flight, much less an international flight, you will not be allowed to board an airplane anywhere in the United States, no matter where you're going, if you don't have the mark of the beast. Uh, you're not allowed to set your foot inside any federal building if you don't accept the mark of the beast. And, and there was a third one, which I can't remember. And so about the federal building, so I was talking, I said, so, you know, how far are they extending this? I mean, can you go to a national park? Or I guess for that matter, can you go to a fucking national forest? Uh, can you step on federal lands? And uh, she's reading it that you're not allowed to step inside a federal building. So she thinks her interpretation, although she's no lawyer, uh, is that you would be allowed into a national park, but you would not be allowed inside any of the buildings in a national park. But anything else that, that you need to do inside a federal building, like, you know, dealing with passports and immigration, social security, I guess, anything that is federal, you will not walk inside a federal office building uh, and, and, until you have accepted the mark of the beast. Uh, the real ID. So uh, I am going to pay twelve hundred fucking dollars to educate the, uh, as they say, the future Walmart greeters and uh, McDonald's burger flippers of Candor, New York, and then go accept the mark of the beast uh, on this cold, depressing, miserable fucking day and. Uh, you know, I've had this uh, this rant before, but it is really coming clear. You know, you know this shit that I'm dealing with with the DMV over this fucking inspection, this absolutely pointless fucking inspection, and uh, and, and this mark of the beast and all of this shit. You know, every bit of this shit is going out the fucking window. 
when Mad Max gets here. I, I, I mean, that this bureaucratic fucking bullshit. I was, what was I just reading recently about, uh, you know, one of these collapsitarians talking about one of the signs of collapse is where this fucking uh, power grabbing bureaucracy uh, is one of the signs of collapse. And uh, people are just going to start saying, fuck you. You know, it's like those, uh, good for those millions of people in China, I guess, that they have just decided they're not going to pay their fucking mortgages. We're just not going to pay our fucking mortgages. What the fuck are you going to do about it? You know, if millions and millions of people refuse to pay their fucking mortgage. Uh, I, I, I guess we'll see. I mean, what, what do you do? Throw people in fucking jail? Uh, do, you, do you fucking take their goddamn houses back and then you have millions and millions and millions of foreclosures? Uh, I guess we'll see. You know, I was listening to this uh, George Carlin video. I think that brother Alistair sent me uh, where George Carlin, uh, you know, 20 years ago, he was specifically talking about cops. Although you, you can you can fold all of these other little small time uh, fucking little power hungry bureaucrats, uh, it, you know, into the fold. Uh, that is, is there anybody suffering any fucking delusion that uh, the police in particular and all of these goddamn bureaucrats and shit, uh, you know, that, that feed the beast? You know the beast, uh, the one that I'm going to get the mark of. Uh, it is anybody suffering the delusion uh, that any of the, that that a single one of these motherfuckers is here to serve the public, is here to serve you, uh, as uh, you know George Carlin of the is one big club and you ain't in it. Uh, fame. Uh, talk about they are here to serve the state, okay? That is who they are here to serve, is their overlords at the, the state, whatever that means. All of these fucking cops and these goddamn bureaucrats and these building inspectors and, and all of this shit, they don't give a flying fuck about you. Or, or about uh, about the goddamn health and safety uh, of your fellow citizens. Uh, they are here to serve the fucking state. And when all of this fucking uh, when all of this fucking uh, bullshit comes crashing down, uh, who do you think these fucking cops are, are going to be here to serve? They're going to be serving themselves as who they're going to be serving. Uh, <laughs> they're going to be armed and dangerous, even more armed and dangerous than they are now. But here I am at the Candor Town Hall to go uh, lighten my wallet by twelve hundred fucking dollars. Twelve hundred fucking dollars to go educate the future Walmart greeters of Candor, New York. Yeah, you know, this fucking bullshit, it just eats your fucking brain. Bye guys.